Hello everybody, this is Luke with OWLS and today we've got some educational content regarding some different cannabinoids. We've been getting lots of questions, especially as we have now entered the European markets, um, specifically focusing on Ireland and of course the UK. We do ship to all of Europe, but we're getting a lot of questions when it comes to the differences between CBD, THC and HHC. So in today's video, we are going to be going over all of that for you and for those of you that don't know you can buy um, any of these cannabinoids direct from our website that's going to be www.owlsoil.eu and everything ships from Ireland so let's get into it so what exactly is HHC how is it different from THC is HHC like CBD these are often questions that we're getting from a lot of people. Um, and so we're going to clear all of that up. So first things first, CBD is a non-psychoactive cannabinoid that comes from the, the cannabis plant. The cannabis plant, Cannabis Sativa L, is hemp, it is marijuana, it is cannabis. But there's been designations that have been made between the two and so um, depending on what country or where you come from all of these can be different so for example when it comes to uh, America hemp is clearly defined um, and Europe is clearly defined as having uh, less than 0.3 delta 9 THC THC is basically the main cannabinoid when you buy cannabis weed green whatever you want to call it you're smoking hash that is called THC. And THC comes in many different forms. To make it simple and easy, it's like this whole cannabis plant is like a family tree. There's a lot of different structures. You've got the mom, the dad, the cousin, the brother, the sister, and they all do varying different things. Some of them are like the party animals. Some of them are like the super strong ones. The other ones are more like, you know, an old granny, right? Just chilling and not wanting to get high. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to get into uh, the differences of them and what they can really do for you. So, of course, everyone's heard of CBD. I feel like it doesn't really need to be explained that much more. Um, CBD is a non-psychoactive cannabinoid. It's been shown to, you know, it's definitely been shown to help with the likes of epilepsy and a, f and a few things like that. And it's a really good anti-inflammatory and it doesn't give any psychoactive effects. So sometimes people smoke CBD, they don't really feel much and they're left with this sort of like, nah, not really what I'm looking for, right? Because people want to feel it. That's where we then get into THC. So THC for some people who are not familiar, don't have a tolerance, is really too strong. And so it ends up being something that is like overwhelming, can lead to paranoia. Now let's not just jump into the negatives. People can be blissed out, super relaxed, sedated, eat more food, a lot of benefits to THC. And, uh, and then now everyone's sort of gotten like, okay, we got THC, gets you high. Uh, we've got CBD, it sort of can make you feel good, but it's like, you know, it's like a food supplement in Ireland, right? But then this new one comes in and it's called HHC. So what exactly are the differences of it? Will it get you high? Is it like CBD? Let's get into it. So first of all, CBD and HHC are very, very different uh, in, in a similar way to how CBD and THC is very different. HHC and THC are more similar than it is to CBD. The main reason, if we were to just look at like, well, let's just look at like a family, the family structure example, right? What is the difference of the two? To not overwhelm you with a lot of scientific information it basically if you were to look at the chemical structure of this it basically comes back to the different bonds and the chemical structure is just ever so slightly different so what does that mean it means that if you had let's say almost like having two identical twins non-identical twins is what i would say so it's like these two brothers are almost the same they're basically the same but the only difference is, is one looks slightly different than the other one. It just turns out that THC here just happened to be a little bit stronger than the other brother over here that was HHC. 
And so HHC is like the legal brother that's good to be sold. You can consume it now. And some people are like, well, no, I only want this one here. Well, when it comes back to access, HHC is widely available. It's widely tested. And um, you can purchase it safely and it can be sent directly to your house. And you can do so with credit card payments or, or, uh, or debit cards. And it's just a much simpler process and there's much wider availability of products such as you can get it in vapes, you can get it in edibles, you can get it in capsules, you can get it in, uh, on flour, in flour infusions. I'll get into that later. And basically with THC, you can possibly go to court, be jailed. It's unregulated and untested. Now, some people say, well, so is HHC. But the one thing I'll tell you is, is that we actually have, well, between THC and HHC, honestly, we actually have a lot more studies coming in on both of them. Some people are like, oh, this is a chemical compound. Like, there's been a ridiculous amount of studies on HHC showing, like, tumor reductions in mice. Uh, Showing that... um, So there's been plenty of studies on HHC uh, showing, you know, non-clinical in vitro safety tests, showing tumor reductions in mice, possibly anti-cancer, possibly uh, helping with colon cancer. And so, you know, when it comes to like people saying some of this fear mongering, often it is coming from an uneducated perspective and that's totally understandable because there just really hasn't been education in Ireland with any of these or even in Europe. And so the more you can get educated, the more you can actually see how these products could very much positively impact you. And so the question really comes back to, well, what do these do? Well, firstly, we can't make any medical advice for anybody. You need to really look at that for yourself. But I can anecdotally tell you that uh, when I have when I'm on Instagram and the DMs, I guess, people talk to me about um, what a good night's sleep that they got, uh, how they don't feel any of this sort of, how do I put it, uh, sometimes people feel like really off when they smoke black market cannabis because they don't know, was it sprayed? Was there other shit on it or whatever it is? And, um, and when it comes to like the likes of the gummies and stuff like that, people are actually just feeling a lot more relaxed taking the edge off and so it's definitely something that you're going to feel compared with the likes of cbd which some people they don't feel anything and then of course then you also have your delta 9 but the issue with the delta 9 especially the likes of ireland is you really have no idea what you're getting because there is no test results uh there is no accountability there is no company there is no returns there is no way for you to really verify what it is that you're consuming and so that just leads to you at the, you know, on the best case scenario, you just being uneducated about what it is you're putting into your body. So if something's actually doing well for you, you can't repeat it. And so it's a really wonderful opportunity for you to get familiar with these new cannabinoids. There is over 150 different cannabinoids right now. They all do varying types from, you know, some are for helping with your skin right some are for anti-inflammatory some are for stopping you from eating right others are for making you eat more some are for sedating some are for pain and so it's definitely not just like one size fits all it's certainly not just one cannabinoid just think about it like your parents are most likely never going to smoke cannabis they may try a gummy though and so there's a little bit for everybody And so it's really important to just stay informed. And if you do have any questions, uh, you can always just DM us on Instagram, drop us some comments below. And uh, also we have a lot of blog posts on the website, owlsoil.eu, where you can find out a lot more of this information and make some educated decisions when it comes to what you're putting into your body and how you choose to make yourself feel good. So... That's basically everything. The last thing I would say is, is like, you know, what are some of the side effects? To be honest, we don't really know. But I can tell you this. Some of the side effects can be like, well, you might go to bed early. You might eat a lot more food. 
For some people, if they take too high a dose, you can sure you might feel like paranoid. But across the board with all of these cannabinoids, no one's ever died. Ever. Now, some people go, oh, well, it's not about the deaths. It's absolutely about the deaths. Right? So, oh, some people say it's psychosis and all this stuff. It's like, yes, there's possibly a role for people if you have mental health issues that you shouldn't consume cannabis. But that all comes back to us leading with more education. And so for those of you that are maybe on the fence, start low, go slow, try something small, see what you like, and you'll be amazed how you can make yourself feel better and take the edge off a little bit more than CBD and not as strong as THC and do so safely. I hope you find this information useful today. Catch you at the next one.